Jordan CTV. Hi, my question's for Minister Freeland. There's a report this morning from the Toronto Star talking about how your government potentially wants to rebrand the carbon tax. What does that mean, just changing the name? And how do you think that will protect a policy that's becoming increasingly unpopular among Canadians? Thank you. And that is that the price on pollution returns more money to eight out of 10 Canadians. And lower income Canadians are in that eight out of 10 category. Um, this is a policy which is revenue neutral. Uh, the money goes right back into the pockets of Canadians. In Ontario, a family of four this year is going to be getting close to $1,000 back through the price on pollution. It's also the case that a lot of Canadians don't realize that. The government's claim of carbon tax revenue neutrality, advocating for a skeptical approach, it emphasizes the valid stance of limited government intervention and raises uncertainties about tax-related policies. Grave concerns are expressed regarding the impact of the carbon tax on Canadian life, particularly for low-income individuals. The public's generosity is tied to sustaining livelihoods, urging politicians to consider and address these circumstances. The article highlights the carbon tax's unpopularity among Canadians exploring its distinction from extortion and sentiment-driven donations. It sheds light on the perceived unpopularity by questioning if redirecting a taxpayer's tax is akin to extortion. The alignment with socialist values is discussed, emphasizing the public's preference for economic policies benefiting individuals and families. The government's role as a financial institution is challenged, encouraging individuals to scrutinize their socialist beliefs. The article unravels how Canadians perceive the carbon tax and suggests a government attempt to manipulate public opinion. Essential questions are raised about the effectiveness of the carbon tax in achieving environmental goals without unduly burdening citizens.